I'm going to be following this YouTube video, but applying it to Windows XP, hopefully. So I'm going to download the 32-bit version because Windows XP is a 32-bit system. That was just an ad pop-up because I block ads because I use Firefox. Crazy. I'm just going to move this into downloads, whatever. Ah, shoot. <laughs> um, I'm going to extract all. Cool. Um, I'm going to open up VMware. Okay, so now we're we're in. We're in. <laughs> let's try to find. Oh, let's try to find. Oh, show. Windows. Ooh la la. <laughs> System 32? Ooh, okay. So this is where the DLLs hide. So according to a tutorial we watched, oh god, we should uh, do this. Well, here, let me go to back to System 32. And we should do this. Oh, see, it worked. Okay, look, because I already have it. I already have 28. So it works. Uh, you don't, don't replace it. Yes, replace it. Sure, why not? It's the same file. And there you go. That's how you do that. It's, it's quick. It's easy. You've got this. You've got this. Okay, hi. Welcome to my tutorial. Do you have direct X issues on your Windows XP? And how do I fix them? <laughs> Um, so this is how you check if you have the DirectX issues. So click the start button, go to run, type as you can see there, D-X-D-I-A-G, press enter. So um, once we get in here, um, you'll have to hit yes upon first startup. You can see all of your computer information. On the DirectX files, you can see if there are any problems. If it's no problems found here, um, I mean, you can keep following this tutorial, but you probably don't have DirectX issues, considering this is the DirectX diagnostics tool. <laughs> um, another thing you want to make sure you have enabled is DirectDraw and Direct3D. That's important for games of this era. And you can also test these two functions. This one has like a big flashing screen for the first test. So be wary of that, but the 3D is just a box, so it's perfectly fine. But yeah, let's say there were a problem sound and you wanted to change things, ignore that folder. You didn't see anything. So first, <laughs> gosh, you want to make your screen smaller, right? Then you take this DirectX9EXE, which I will link in the description, um, only download the exe, that's all you need. Just drag it onto here. Alright, so then on your home screen, click new, go to folder, type uh, secrets. You can type anything. <laughs> um, then look at the path here. I like to copy it, so control C. Then click the exe you dragged on, click yes to accept. Please type a location where you want the files. And oh wow, I already have something copied. And I paste it. And it's going to copy all of the exe files into your folder. Wow, that's so crazy. So then click DX Setup. Click Accept the Agreement. Now it's going to install the components. And this is the second time I've done this, so it might be a little bit weird. <laughs> and now just go back to your DX Diag tools. Um, and oh wow, no problems found. Crazy. <laughs> um, I don't know how to give myself problems, so, and I don't really want to, <laughs> but that's how you do DirectX stuff in Windows XP.